Hi there everyone, welcome back to my channel. It is Krista here to do the extended monthly forecast for the sign of Sagittarius, sun, moon, and rising. I hope that you enjoyed your July extended monthly forecast. And I really wanna take a second to thank everyone who inspires me to do this work. Thank you to everyone who comments and likes, shares my videos, and everyone who has subscribed to my channel. That means the world to me and it makes a big difference in the work that I do, so thank you. This is a general reading for your sign, so whatever is most prominent in your world when you are viewing this is what I encourage you to take the messages and apply them to, and I hope that you find them helpful and healing. So what does Sagittarius Sun, Sagittarius Moon, and Sagittarius rising need to know for the month of August 2018. Sagittarius need to know August 2018. We did have the moon jump out. We'll see if that shows up in your reading. Of course, that's illusion or something being done behind the scenes. Sagittarius need to know. Sagittarius, sun, moon, rising. There we go. So I am doing a seven card spread. It's called the horseshoe spread. I will be using the bottom of the deck card for general energy for the month. It's not officially a part of the spread um, with the seven cards, but I do like using it for general energy to apply the other messages to. And it also gives you an idea of um, what type of energy will be surrounding you for the month that you can work within. And we have this lovely six of air, um, and this is sailing away from something that isn't working for you or isn't right for you any longer. The air does represent the swords. Uh, the swords is the air element here. So this could have to do with your thoughts, belief systems, or ideas. Could even have to do with communication. Six does always indicate balance to me. And something about taking the lessons with you. So there was something you gathered, something you um, might have followed through with and found that you weren't going to continue any longer because it wasn't right for you or wasn't the right time. But ultimately, you're no worse off. This is a lovely card for taking lessons learned into the future with you while knowing that something better awaits you. So this is a really nice card to have for your general energy for the month. Let us get the seven cards out for you. I'll do a nice little snapshot with all the cards together. I'll give you an idea of what all the cards uh, mean in and of themselves and then of course we'll look at them in their respective positions look at that you're winding up with the Sun at the end of the month so really really beautiful here we uh, I think that's your only major arcana here so that's gorgeous as we know most potent energy comes from the major arcana which essentially means that <laughs> this is going to maybe even overshadow or, or overpower some of the other um, maybe heavy energies the only card really that i see with any um uh sort of like you know disciplinary energy here is the ten of wands so i mean it's it's within uh wait within a week the third to the fourth week of the month for you something will be solved here with regard to this burden or feeling overwhelmed or overburned here so something will be resolved at the end of the month for you um, I do see an opportunity for you a lot of passion maybe some entrepreneurial spirit someone has your best interest at heart uh, either your general um, atmosphere sort of where you live and where you work uh, or you're able to feel finally as though your ducks are in a row the bills are paid um, Something will occur here as an outside influence or external to you. Um, it could even be someone helping provide you something at this time. And then, of course, 
the I know where I'm going, this really gorgeous big hearted card here, and then as I said, the ace, um, a little bit of a burden here, and then you follow uh, that and finish the month with this glorious sun, which of course is always like the best of everything. It's the best life. It's the best love. It's the best health. Um, it's prosperity. It's um, intelligence. It's the pure, warm sun. And, you know, ultimately it's life. So something very life affirming awaits you at the end of the month. Uh, some of the main terminology that I was getting into there, but I do want to do it card by card and then we'll look at them in their positions, is um, embarking on a new path. We do have this beautiful, mature, emotional intelligence, a new opportunity, some passion here. Um, again, as a general reading, and no matter uh, what is occurring right now, this is how uh, you'll be reacting or acting to it. And it, again, there's an entrepreneurial spirit here. This is uh, really personal wealth. This is um, uh, having everything you need as an individual. It's a really independent card, uh, a lot of independence here. Here's a little bit of a burden, something that's coming to an end here. And then as I said, this glorious life-affirming sun. So let's get into what each of these mean in their respective positions with the horseshoe spread. So this indicates your recent past. I do feel like you embarked on something that you were looking forward to um, that you made your mind up about. I mean, we are into the three of ones here. Um, the two was really you having to make a decision. So you've embarked on something in your recent past and we are sort of using the three cards here to represent uh, perhaps the first two weeks of the month and then you can sort of look at this as the last two weeks. This card does represent you. So this is energy that you were excited. It is an action card. So something that you physically went about going to perform or do or conduct. And uh, it's quite exciting. And remember here, you've got um, the entrepreneurial or really passionate card here, someone who has even a message. So you could act as a messenger uh, yourself or have a message uh, of passion or something having to do with business. Like I said, we have the ace, we have uh, rather two earth cards on either side of you, which of course is pentacles. So this does um, indicate that wealth or prosperity could be surrounding you right now within a business venture. So do keep that in mind uh, for anyone um, embarking on a business venture. And then of course here with you know the end of that uh, carrying about the, this motion or this um, path or this challenge for yourself, you know, going in a certain direction, here is where it's come to an end. Something can be over by the end of the month. So really nice to see for you. And as I said, no matter, I mean, like I said, that is really the heaviest card here or the most burdensome card here. And it's really, it's just overshadowed by the sun. So even though something does look or, seem or by all appearances um, look like a burden, it's going to be lifted really quickly. So here's where you've taken an action in your recent past and moved forward. Something has propelled you into the future. And look where you sit presently, this gorgeous King of Cups. So this could be a Cancer, Scorpio, or Pisces in your environment. Uh, you could very well have Scorpio, Cancer, or Pisces in your own chart, Sagittarius. You could be a Sagittarius Sun, Scorpio Moon, for example. So if you're cross-watching, I will suggest that though that this card does represent those elements of your own personality that are coming to the fore and that are quite mature. This is very mature energy. This is the very top that you can get in this element. Um, and, and it's there could be some masculine energy, but there, it could very well be a man or a woman. Um, but the most important aspect of this, of course, is, the, is the maturity. So it doesn't necessarily have to be someone older than you, but it could be a wise heart or an old soul, that type of thing. Someone who has some, something to teach you. And, and as I message, uh, met, mentioned, if this is your energy, this is something that you've come to terms with about yourself. This is a really gorgeous card to have representing your present Sagittarius as you are a fire sign, right? Like here you are as your fire. Um, the beautiful Sag here. But as I said, there's a lot on your there's a lot in your heart right now. You're feeling very open. Um, 
There's an emotional intelligence that belongs to you right now or surround you right now. And it's more than just, you know, developing this. It's more than just um, achieving this. Uh, what this has to do with is, you know, accepting and loving this part of yourself. So this is really beautiful to see for you. You have a great love and respect for yourself. The beautiful thing about the King of Cups is that you have so much nurturing and love and care and compassion. Um, and you have such a big heart here that you have it to share. You have so much that you can give or you can share or you can lend. And curiously enough, I mean, we have this gorgeous, compassionate, heartfelt card here and then end with a sun card that of course is ruled by Leo. So you could also be surrounded by Leo energy um, here as well or something around the fifth house which is ruled by Leo and this could be creativity, children uh, or even romantic matters. So I'm just throwing that out there as well um, as I see that and of course we have you the Saggi down here. So I don't necessarily think that this is going to represent someone else. It is sitting in the position um, that clearly states that this is you. And I am reading for Sag. So I do believe strongly this is you here. But yeah, you could be dealing with a Leo or Leonian energy here. And especially if you've begun something that has a lot of heart and has a lot of soul here, you know, by the end of the month, you could find that the, the, this creative venture or um, this outpouring of uh, compassion and love and wellness and you know a real sweetness there's a there's a just a lot of love here you know you could find that that comes around that that proves itself to be either lucrative or um, you know it's matched you that's mirrored back to you something really beautiful happens between the two of these energies I feel very strongly about that here um, and like I said they could very well reflect each other I I do know that this is water and water and um, fire ultimately can create steam. Um, if there, there's a steamy situation, one can put the other out. But I do think um, by and large, this is going to help reflect, okay, that this is going to be reflective. So a lot of joy, a lot of um, mature emotions, uh, emotional intelligence, um, and really creativity as well, a lot of compassion and creativity. Which leads us into this gorgeous hidden influence uh, card here. It's just a stunning piece of artwork, frankly. Uh, the Ace of Pentacles is an opportunity. This is something that's landing in your lap or being offered to you, something that's making itself obvious out of the blue. Um, but as a hidden influence, I think, uh, what I might suggest here for the month of August for you Sagittarius is to really keep your eyes peeled for this. Really keep your eyes and ears peeled for something that's coming your way that's going to improve your life, your what you might consider your lot in life. Or if you have a hero, for example, I'm going to suggest this as well. If you have a hero in mind while we're speaking here um, who, who has a lifestyle that is prosperous and independent and secure and healthy and wealthy and wise, I might suggest that this person or this energy or your hero, as it were, has a lot to offer you um, or has a message that's available to you or an opportunity within, for example, how they themselves went about the life you wanna live. And I think you can take a lesson in that. So you can look at it that way. Uh, the Ace of Pentacles as a hidden influence as well does also mean that, um, especially with this chance card in your recent past and a great deal of compassion here, I do think that an opportunity that is available to you that you take a risk on, okay, because here's you, here's an action orientated fire sign card, and then the this beautiful outside influence of the independent prosperous energy. So I would um, keep going in the direction of prosperity and creating roots, okay? Like solid prosperity, no fly by night, no um, really nothing around whimsy. Again, recall here, we only have one air card. And again, you know, that's the element of whimsy and ideas. And we're not dealing with that in any other level here. 
this is just an overall energy around you know you sailing away from something that wasn't working for you so yes a new opportunity arises for you and uh, again it is in the hidden influence position so just keep your eyes and ears peeled for this something that belongs to you um, a sudden win a, a, a gift um, you know, there could be a message within a gift for you or a gift is given to you and it means more to you or creates more security in your life than um, perhaps even the person giving it to you uh, might have might have ever um, thought. So yeah, this could have to do, and it could be, you know, the gift could just be an, uh, an article of clothing. It could be a book. So anything that's tangible, okay? So again, out of the world of ideas into the world of the tangible, a gift, a book, um, you know, a feather. So it doesn't even have to be expensive. It's not about money, this one necessarily, unless it's about, you know, starting new within a m m position of money or a, a position of entrepreneurial um, endeavor here. And if that's the case, the hidden influence would be, you know, take that opportunity, take yourself up on that, uh, that chance to do that. But yeah, it could be something super simple. It doesn't even have to be from a store. The, the, the bottom line here is that it's a gift to you and it's something tangible, something you can touch. So that is a hidden influence and I do think that whatever does come your way in that regard is gonna have a very special message for you or be able to influence or encourage the continuation of the path that you began here uh, under the auspices of the three of wands uh which again is it is the it's, it's embarking i mean she's even in a little boat like she's heading out so really really beautiful to see that so this does represent you and then we'll get into the last two weeks here the messenger of uh, fire or it's also known as the knight of wands so as you know this is a court card the king is also a court card so yeah I mean this is in the position representing you but you could be surrounded by for example another uh, fire sign so Leo Sagittarius or Aries um, ultimately I do see this as you and I do see this as your energy it's uh, you know Without going about repeating myself, I probably will move on fairly quickly here, but this it does have great entrepreneurial spirit. Uh, there's a lot of passionate energy, and if it is a love situation that's meeting you this month in August, for example, this could be, you know, um, the first signs of, you know, physical contact or, you know, really going beyond flirting and uh, like, like heavy duty flirting here. So I just want to put that out there as well for anyone who's meeting their uh, a loved one or having a romantic adventure. Here we have in the influence of others, as I said, here's your nine of pentacles. So as I said, the reason why I brought up the whole hero concept here, or just basically someone you look up to, okay? Um, it could be anyone, someone you know personally, someone who's living, someone who's passed, someone in your family, maybe a peer group member. Um, ultimately, that part doesn't matter. It is someone you um, look up to, someone who's influencing you, okay? Because this is the influence of others. And here, as I said, here's a very independent, prosperous card. Um, they're you know, and people can say this depending on what, uh, you know, position it falls into. This person that you're looking up to or influencing you could themselves be a solitary person, okay? Um, it could be very likely that you're not looking up to them because of relationship advice or because, um, uh, you know, they have something to offer around children, you know, advice around children, for example, you know, uh, something where they're doing something independently um, in and of itself and for themselves, but they're very, very good at it and, and they're very successful at it. And this is what I see here, right? Like they have something to teach you that can be gleaned and it could just very well be you saying, how did they go about getting there? What was their first step? Okay, like a little bit of research maybe before you went off into this with a full heart. And maybe that's what's happening. You just examined how they went about it. You're really inspired. I mean, the, the, the United of Wands here is a really inspiring energy. So it could just be that you needed that one last element, you know, like what is it? It's almost like you had all the clues or all the pieces, but like one thing, or, you know, or one thing was outstanding or one thing was left out. And it was like, oh, that's really made clear to you this month. 
Um, so I do see if you are looking up to somebody, um, could very well be, and I want to mention this as well, could be an earth sign. So Virgo, Taurus, or Capricorn um, that you're looking up to, or that type of energy here as well. And again, essentially that just means very solid, um, rooted, practical energy. And I do feel because this is you in the center, it, you're just very inspired by all of that. Here we have, like I said, some heavy energy. Here's what you should do. So, I mean, this is really just going the distance in this case. Like, this is a little burdensome um, card energy-wise. But in the position of what you should do, follow through. Don't give up. Follow through here, Sagittarius. Keep going in the direction of your dreams. If, for example, you've learned something mm, sort of well into this process and you have figured something new out or you want to incorporate something new into it. I don't think you have to throw the baby out with the bathwater here. I think you can easily incorporate this. You know, be clever this month um, around that theme. Uh, be thorough, okay? And don't worry about things moving slowly. Um, when it comes to pentacles, things, especially for a Sag, you know, fire uh, energy, pretty quick moving, um, I think this will work into your benefit, believe it or not, to have something that's, you know, implemented, especially if it's new or something that you desire that's just come to you or that you just figured out, you know, take your time with that, implement that piece by piece by piece, uh, recognize it all has its natural stages as well. So there's really nothing to hurry or rush here. Just make sure it's, um, begun. So yeah, for the heaviest energy being, you know, what you should do, follow through. Don't give up. Stay passionate. Recognize as well that, you know, the end is near. Like you can see the end is in sight. And as I said, look what follows, right? Your final outcome is this glorious sun. It really is. It washes away all fear. It washes away all doubt. Um, it's really just the brightest card and the most life-affirming card uh, of the whole tarot, really. Um, and then, of course, it's a major arcana. So do expect things to work out to your highest good. Expect things to work out to your benefit. Uh, expect your dreams to come true. Stay true to your heart. Stay compassionate for both yourself and others. Um, if there does, if there does seem to be something that appears to be a little bit of a hurdle here, or if it starts to feel a little bit heavy, or even if it becomes an issue of like, well, how do I incorporate this into something I've already begun here? Um, you know, that card in that position is saying you have what it takes to figure it out. You're super clever. You're super smart. Um, you can figure it out. So, so again, don't throw the baby out with the bathwater. Uh, stay clear-headed be led by your heart you know don't be afraid of that and remember that gorgeous sun at the end for you I mean the sun literally is going to shine on you at the end of the month so anything that you have begun here as I said your recent past was the three of wands you embarked on something so I do see this um, even if it's a first stage success okay uh, really capitalize on that you know celebrate that and uh, <clears throat> keep going with it. So we did have two jumpers come out of the Wisdom of the Oracle deck. As you know, I do like getting uh, extra message cards from the Oracle um, at the end of your spread just for extra messages. So look at this, this cold create card. And I'm telling you, listen, this, this person who is influencing you or that you do look up to or you do admire or want to emulate, etc. you could very well know them and be, you know, in business with them, okay? Absolutely. Uh, if that's the case, continue. Keep going in that direction. Stay in your open heart. Communicate openly. Don't carry a burden by yourself that you can share uh, share with someone else. Um, but you know, also really take stock about what it is that you or you and this other individual want to create together. You know, stay on target with one another. Don't assume anything here. Uh, don't assume. 
um, you know, keep clear and open communication. And then all that glitters is really interesting <laughs> because we just went on about here about this, you know, prosperity and independent wealth um, and um, fruitfulness and, you know, really strong roots and uh, just the, the sense of overall wellness here. All that glitters is really just talking about what is on the surface. What is on the surface that might appear as though it's better than it really is? Um, so I think if anything here, one of the questions around the co-creation, and ultimately if you're if you're doing this as a you know single-handedly and you're not creating with a physical partner, for example. Um, it could be very much spirit, okay? Your your guided energy, your guided spiritual energy. You know, you're co-creating you and spirit, you and your highest good, you and your highest energy, that type of thing. And then with all that glitters is really just saying, could you be bypassing something because it wasn't exactly what you wanted to see or it wasn't exactly what you wanted to... Uh, be presented with uh, all the glitters really just says like it's there's something deeper there's um you know look deeper okay something beneath the surface here um and i'm not saying you can't go for wealth or can't go for gold but you know maybe this is saying you know don't choose one over the other don't choose prosperity over a full heart type thing you know try to keep that balance here but begin by recognizing right you like really go within what's important to you and why um, especially around prosperity and wealth here we have the butterfly this is transformation for real um Absolutely beautiful. I mean, butterflies really just speak volumes when it comes to big shifts and changes uh, coming out of a cocoon period, coming out of um, your shell, as it were. Um, but ultimately, something that doesn't look so pretty now or something that doesn't seem so appealing, for example, or something that's <laughs> in the larva stage, um, you know, it may not be too pretty. It may be kind of bumpy and windy and Someone else may not even be able to see this dream uh, for what it is either, uh, but that's not your concern. It's not about them. It's about knowing what comes next. And it's this, another element behind the transformation is also, you know, keep faith, put that, keep putting that one foot in front of the other, even though you don't necessarily know what comes at the end of that or things are shifting. And you can't rely on things working out a, a very specific or particular way. You know, keep faith that you're going in the right direction here. And um, stay positive and recognize this is just a phase. This is a phase uh, in relation to the higher good or to the um, long-term plan. Surrender and release. Yeah, you know, so much of this. And I think I mentioned this earlier in the spread for you as well. It's almost like having wealth or wellness, um, having really whatever, having what it is that you're admiring, okay? So as much as that has to do with working toward it, you know, planning, desiring, working, visualizing, all that stuff. I mean, do, 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 you do all this stuff, right? You're doing a lot here, but there's as equally important to that Sagittarius in my view is the element of allowing. It's kind of just like being, like you're letting it in, like you can only actually do so much until you have to let it come in, until you have to let it show up or even make room for it. So, ooh, that's way too many cards. Uh, I hope I held that up. So this is surrender and release. It really is letting the good things come to you. Stop trying to be in control of every single outcome. Uh, this is reminiscent of the uh, star card in my view. There is an Aquarian energy behind the surrender and release. So that there could be an Aquarian in your environment or Aquarius energy, brotherhood, long-term plans, sudden changes, electronics. Uh, but ultimately, surrender and release. Release expectations, surrender to um, the higher power, to the all good. 
So there we go. It is safe for you to love. And again, yes, it is. And you're well aware now. You're finally in a position to be able to share this openly without regret, without fear. Um, it is safe for you to love. Open your heart to give and receive the highest energy of all. I love it so much. I hope you can see that. Again, whether this is a business venture, love venture, a uh, creative project, um, something having to do with your family, something having to do with basically anything that's occurring in your life, whether that's travel or even, you know, creative ventures, artistic ventures here, open your heart. It's safe for you to do this. It's safe for you to keep going in this direction. You have a lot to offer. Um, you're still learning, but I think you're willing to go slow. And I think you're willing, um, as long as you're willing to accept the good that comes with all of the work and the actions that you're taking here, I think that you'll be able to appreciate um, the hard work that you've done and appreciate the outcome of this. Everyone benefits, right? I see you doing this for the highest good of all. So I really congratulate you on that as well. And that is your reading for the month. I hope that you enjoyed it. I hope it was helpful and healing. If you have a second to comment below, let me know how it works out for you. And until we meet in the near future, take excellent care of yourselves. Bye for now.